Yeah, now we're going to go upside down, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, because yeah. You're, you're all set up, so you're okay. Or, which is a start point for the final finish cut. Because the tips are operating perfectly parallel, it will highlight any low spots on the disc and any irregularities at all. You, you can hear and see now it's getting a lot lighter. Not, not even touching here. So what I'll do now, I'll just read that normal on it. most is that they get more wear on the inside. Mm. So that all lined and grooved up. So what we have to do now is just put the finish, the final cut onto the disc. So. So slacken off the knob underneath. Take the cutters in two lines, which is four foul overall. That's four foul on that dial. Same on that one. And then before we get it cut in back, fit one of the anti-resonance dampers over the disc. Just to stop any vibration on the, on the final finish cut. Hit. The automatic feed handling. Engages in the cog, drives itself back. So now it'll come back at that constant speed, so you, you won't have any lines on the disc as it comes back. Also, the speed, the pullback speed in relation to the turn speed is, is not to be precise, otherwise, you will create a, a record play effect. Again, it's, it's a cosmetic thing. It, 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 what they do is to to the device. So uh, you say about four thousandths of an inch is a no normally enough to clean up most discs. Yes, that, that, that's that's always enough, providing you perform a manual rough cut first to, to roughly make the disc flat. The four thou is literally a finish. Okay. It's just a, to put a finish onto a disc, that's all. So it's not going to affect the heat absorbing capabilities of the disc. It's not, not going to take it down. As long as you've measured the minimum thickness and... Yeah, a, 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 before you put the machine onto the car, hmm. assess the disc beforehand, make sure there's enough material on there to begin with, and then you can cut the disc. Okay. Um, I, I always say you, you will never ruin a disc by performing this procedure. If you machine a disc and afterwards you measure it and it's below minimum thickness, it was below minimum thickness before you started. So your operation does not take it below minimum thickness unless it is very, very warm. Exactly. If, if, you, if you measure a disc with a minimum thickness of 22 mil and you measure it to start with and you find a low spot of 22.3, it's not worth doing. You know that by machining that disc then you're going to take 0.3 off so you, there's, there's no value left in the It's going to go too low. Yeah. But would you suggest that this type of turning procedure is good for high performance cars that have spent a lot of money on their brakes, for example? Oh yes, yes, most definitely. The, 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 the cars that this procedure best suits is, is the high performance cars. Mm. Because they're more susceptible to brake disc variation, thickness variation. Mm. Um, obviously the, the, the brakes are so much more money on those cars mm. and they're designed for using at uh, high speeds. Um, we, we've seen today that we're cutting some EBC slotted discs, but in your experience of doing this job, it is perfectly acceptable to machine drilled discs and slotted discs that are fitted onto a variety of cars. Yep, it's perfectly acceptable, and it's, it's more than that. It's actually recommended by most of the leading manufacturers. For example, Ford, BMW. It, it's all approved and recommended by the leading manufacturers. Okay. We can see the disc finishing its the last stages of its cut now. Really. Okay, we're at the end of the cut now. You can hear the cutting has stopped, and there is the disc finish. And that is a beautiful finish on that disc, as good as the brand new disc itself. No chatter marks at all around the slots absolutely perfect and in beautiful alignment with the vehicle hub compensating for any run out curb crash damage that may have occurred on the vehicle hub
Yeah. Right, we're just, now we've finished machining this, we just need to measure it just to double check that we haven't machined it below the minimum thickness of 23 millimetres. So if we offer the gauge over, you can see there we're at 24.66. And the minimum is 23 so, so it's not taken a lot off and no, it hasn't gone under thickness no we've, we've still got over half the expected life of the disc remaining would you recommend to uh, wipe the disc down now or yes clean it's, it off? It, it, it's a good idea just to give the, the the face of the disc a wipe just to remove just to remove any any residue that that's left on the disc you, okay it, it won't actually leave any any sharp filings but it will leave a, a dust residue on the disc. So just and we quick... remove that with a clean cloth and some brake cleaner maybe? Or? Brake cleaner is fine, um, it, it's sometimes better to, the pro can actually recommend to use so soapy water, but how many garages are going to actually fetch soapy water I really don't know. Um, I've always used solvent brake cleaner and, and that's, that's fine just to clean the surface. And the inside face as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Thanks very much.